faster than it seems We were just two kids Who were trying to live the teenage dream We could see no reason But we should ever try to go to sleep Remember every weekend We stayed up late and then went home and made. I wish that I could live that dream Live that dream again Cause it was only you and me You and me back then We were never growing up Said we'd be on forever You taught me how to love And nothing could be better than you and me You and me Baby it was you and me safely at the hotel <clears throat> but the unfortunate news is that Nick's game started at 7.05 it's 7.38 and I have a lot to catch up I have a lot to catch up with you with you I have a lot to catch up with you with I have a lot to, uh, we have a lot to go over so let's backtrack this morning Scout and I left Kansas at 3 30 a.m. Nick in the bus left Kansas at 1 50 a.m after a night game last night. Neither of us got a lot of sleep, obviously. Um, I always think eight hour drives are no big deal until I'm on like hour six. The drive itself was beautiful. I love these big open states. I think they're absolutely beautiful. The weather was beautiful on the drive, except for, of course, at three o'clock in the morning when it was pitch dark and storming and raining really, really hard. When it rains here, it rains really, really 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 hard that didn't last very long all was fine about an hour outside of Chicago I was pulled over for speeding scout Torres got me out of that ticket because she went through the window and kissed the police officer multiple times before I could grab her and he loved her so he let me off with a warning so shout out to the home girl I'm gonna tell you something else about Chicago that's a little tricky I knew I would be going through toll roads. I didn't realize that you had to have cash right then and there. Every other toll road that I've been through, you can go online and pay it online after you go through it. No big deal. I was counting pennies to get through the toll. Finally came up with a dollar ninety. Five minutes later, there was another toll. There was a dollar fifty. They make you pay for every single road you drive on here. I luckily almost had to go through a third toll, but I got off in time, so ooh, was not gonna be happy. Got up to the hotel, Nick was already here. He went and dropped me off at the train station. I took the L train that runs from um, basically the airport here, the Chicago airport, all the way downtown where like Wrigley is. I did have to get off and make a connection to a different train. So I felt like a real big girl today exploring Chicago. Um, the unfortunate part is, is that I didn't eat. When I'm really busy, I forget to eat. So I have a pounding headache right now. I of course was going into Wrigley and so I didn't bring water with me because I knew they wouldn't let it in and I didn't want to spend $10 on a water bottle there. So uh, I'm dehydrated, I'm really tired, um, my head is pounding. So I, uh, I don't know if, they, if this is gross to anybody, but I really have been enjoying these lean cuisines. Um, I get them at Target, they're super cheap and they're just this little fabulous meal. This is spaghetti, or not spaghetti, uh, butternut squash. And um, they're actually pretty clutch on like road trips because I just put them in our ice chest with a bunch of ice so they stay frozen and then heat them up. Nick swore that there was a microwave in the hotel and it's a safe safe I did have to go find a microwave but that's where we're at that is where we're at Wrigley Field is incredible 
it is incredible. I was a little nervous to do it solo. It's been a while since I've done anything like that alone. I used to do stuff like that all the time and it didn't phase me. I was a little scared to be in a new city doing things all by myself. But I have to go. I have to go because I have to go watch Nick Nick play baseball now. What? 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 for us to get our pizza. So leave yourself plenty of time to go do that. Um, you also cannot order by the slice. You do have to buy a whole pizza. So there you because I really was looking forward to making a few videos about um, all the all the stops that we've made so um, but I do think that this is a really good video and opportunity to talk about how difficult it is to travel and kind of chase Nick around like I do I think sometimes I accidentally give the impression that um, it all goes pretty smoothly and especially for the girls that don't travel uh, I want to make sure that I'm giving a glimpse at how fun it is and how much I love doing it but also how difficult it can be so this trip just hasn't really gone as planned to save money one of the things that Nick and I do if we're comfortable and the other person's comfortable is we room with one of his teammates we wouldn't want to do that with everyone but it's super beneficial if you can do that because it's you know a couple hundred bucks if not more that you can save um, just on hotel rooms but the downside to that is it's very typical for the guys to sleep in until like 11 o'clock because they stay up so late so you know I had this big checklist of things that I wanted to do and it just makes it a little more difficult when you know you can't really get up and shower um, and make noise in the room when people are sleeping I try to be really respectful about that um, when somebody's letting us stay there so uh, you know things that I wish that I could show more of that you know sometimes there's just not a camera around or um, you know whatever yesterday when Nick and I wanted to go to downtown Chicago for the day um, you know we really didn't get out of the hotel room until like 
noon um, because we were trying to be quiet. Nick woke up at about probably 9.30 um, and we snuck out, took Scout down, went and got breakfast but brought it back up to the room at about 10 and um, the, the roommate was still asleep so we took Scout into the bathroom and ate breakfast in the bathroom. It's just things that kind of you just have to roll with, um, but they definitely don't necessarily fit in with my timeline with filming and stuff. So luckily they had a show and go. So for those of you that don't know much about baseball, they basically just didn't take BP yesterday. So they show up to the field late. Um, so Nick didn't have to be there until like four o'clock, um, but we didn't even get to downtown until about 1.30. We were starving, so we went and got pizza. Pizza took like 40 minutes to wait for, for the deep dish pizza. Um, we were riding the train everywhere, so that takes time as well. And then we tried to go to um, Millennium Park to see the bean, and that you know is obviously like a big Chicago um, staple, and they would not let us bring Scout into the park, even with her emotional support animal um, certification and vest, because um, they only allow service dogs not emotional support animals but service dogs um which was unfortunate but uh so we couldn't even go into the park and that was all stuff that i was really looking forward to be able to make videos about and then because we were running all around all day and it was super hot and um we just weren't drinking enough water blah 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 i had a terrible headache i wanted to film the stadium and kind of give you guys a look at that and i just couldn't bring myself to do it so and in the midst of all that I still have Scout who I'm trying to get adequate exercise and um, so you know she's in the car a lot when we travel and in the hotel and so I really try and get her out and about and make sure that she's um, you know being taken care of so this morning we wanted to try and go fit one more thing in whether it was um, seeing someplace or eating someplace and Unfortunately, Nick's alarm didn't go off and he has a day game today, so um, he had to be on the bus to the field a little bit earlier. I also worked really hard to do some meal prepping before I came. First of all, to save money, it's a little cheaper if I'm not having to spend money on food, especially in areas like we were in Chicago, it was really expensive. So, um, but our fridge did not work right in our hotel and all my food spoiled, so I'm currently uh, eating McDonald's, uh, which I'm not saying I'm like too unhappy about because I kind of like unhealthy food, but it's obviously not food I want to be eating um, like all the time or ever. So, um, you know, it's just little things like that that I don't always show. Um, but I think this is a good video to talk about them. So all of these things are obviously not like a huge deal, but combined it does throw a little bit of a wrench in things. It's always a bummer when we're in really cool places like this and we just can't really do a whole lot of things. And that's pretty typical for uh, the baseball schedule. You know, the guys spend a lot of time at the field and when they're not on the field, they're catching up on sleep. These long days are really hard on their bodies. It's starting to warm up here at least. It's really hot. And after the game, you know, a lot of times they still need to eat uh, if they didn't get enough at the field. So by the time they get done with the game, go eat, get into bed and find a way to wind down from all of the adrenaline that they've had throughout the game. Um, sometimes it's like one o'clock before they're asleep, which is why they sleep in so late. So I think mentioning these things, um, not only as to why my video is probably gonna be a little rough, um, but just a little more of the realistic side of traveling with Nick. It's just, it's not pretty, which doesn't mean it's a bad thing, but it's, you know, I think it's fair to say that uh, it's difficult at times. So right now, Scout and I are currently driving to Iowa. It is the next stop uh, for the boys. They are currently playing a game, a day game right now back in Chicago. Um, but Scout and I left early because we are driving out to go see the Field of Dreams, um, the movie set. That's been on my bucket list for a long time as well. We are going to stop at the movie site and then it's another, it's about three hours, three and a half hours to the movie site. And then once we check that out, we are going to drive through to the other end of Iowa um, to meet Nick. 
it's another about four hours from the movie site to our final destination for the night. So we're back on the road again. I have my McDonald's nuggets next to me on my left and Scout is sleeping on my right. Um, and we're off again. As a young girl, the fields were mine We played hide and seek for hours Raised our shadows among the pines So offshore, playful and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl Daydreamer, kidnap me Take me back all the way back to them days Running around In a gown and a crown Barefoot No mistake ever kept me Spent summers catching fireflies and winters on our skates One big smile across my face We used to dance our way to church on Sundays Mama set the pace 